So in this video, we're gonna be learning about a feature in Directus that lets us store translations of data in our tables. So this could be really useful if you run something like a blog. So say for example, on your blog, the most popular language is English, but the second most popular language that people speak is Spanish. You might wanna store Spanish alongside the English version of your blog post so that readers who speak Spanish will read your blog as well. And it's actually really easy to set up in Directus. So to set it up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some tables. So the first table we're gonna create is gonna be a languages table and it's gonna store the languages we store translations for. So I turned off status and I'm gonna call this table languages. So if I save that, now we have our languages table. And we're gonna be using Directus's relational translation interface to store our translations and link them to our posts. And it's really simple to set that up. So after creating the languages table, we wanna go into it and we wanna create a column to store the language name. So I'm gonna call it language and I'm just gonna save that. Now in the languages table, I'm going to add some languages. So the first language is going to be English. The second language is going to be Spanish. And the third language is going to be French. So we're storing three languages and now what we want to do is create our table to store our posts. So we're going to turn off the status column for that as well and we're going to click OK. So we have our posts table now. What we're also going to do is create another table called posts underscore translations. Turn off status again. And this table is going to store the translations and it's called posts translations because we're storing the translations for the posts table. So we're just using the name of the table underscore translations. So if we click OK, now what we want to do is we want to add some data to our posts table. So to this table, we're going to create a title column and we're going to save that. That's going to be for the title of our posts. Next, we're going to go into our posts translations table. And we're going to first store the ID of the post that the translation corresponds to. So in that case, it's going to be post underscore ID. It's going to be a numeric and we're going to save that. We're going to store the ID of the language in the languages table. So we're going to call it language ID. That's going to store the ID of the language that the translation is written in. Next, we're going to create a column called body. That's going to store the actual post itself and it's going to be a text area and we're going to save that. So next, all we have to do to get this set up is go back into our tables, go into our posts table, and we have to create a new column to link the translations. So we're gonna call this column translations. And we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna use Directus's relational translation interface. And we're gonna link our posts table to the post underscore translations table. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna link the ID column of the posts table to the post underscore ID column in the post translations table. Next we have to do is we have to tell Directus the table where we store the languages. So that's gonna be the languages table. We store the language name in the languages table in a column called language. The default language is gonna have an ID of one because that's gonna be English. And the left column name is the column name that points to the primary key in the languages table. And that column is stored in the translations table. And that column is called language underscore ID. So if I save that, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hide our post translations table because this is a table that runs in the background. So if we scroll down, we hide it and we save that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a post. So you can see here is a new post. We have no translations at the moment. If I click on this, you can see we have English, Spanish and French to choose from. And I'm gonna call this post, hello world. We're gonna save that. Now what we're gonna do is add some text to the body of our post and we're gonna add some translations. So the first one we're gonna put in is English. So it's gonna be hello world. Next, we're gonna put in Spanish. Next, we're gonna put in French. So there's our French translation. And we're also gonna put in Irish. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save that. So you can see we have four translations. So now if I click into English, you can see we have hello world. Click on Spanish, we have the Spanish version, we have the French version, and now we have the Irish version. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. But that's it for this video, and I'll see you next time.